ready start by no means it is suggested that whenever such charge of rape is made where the victim is a child it has to be treated as a gospel truth and the accused person has to be convicted stop we have already discussed above the manner in which testimony of the prosecutrix is to be examined and analyzed in order to find out the truth therein and to ensure that deposition of the victim is trustworthy stop at the same time after taking all due precautions which are necessary when it is found that the prosecution version is worth believing the case is to be dealt with all sensitivity that is needed in such cases stop in such a situation one has to take stock of the realities of life as well stop various studies show that in more than 80% cases of such abuses perpetrators have acquaintance with the victims who are not strangers stop the danger is more within than outside stop most of the time acquaintance rapes when the culprit is a family member are not even reported for various reasons not difficult to fathom stop the strongest among those is the fear of attracting social stigma stop another de deterring factor which many times prevent such victims or their families to lodge a complaint is that they find whole process of criminal justice system extremely intimidating coupled with absence of victim protection mechanism stop therefore time is ripe to bring about significant reforms in the criminal justice system as well stop equally there is also a dire need to have a survivor centric approach towards victims of sexual violence particularly the children keeping in view the traumatic long lasting effects on such victims stop para after thorough analysis of all relevant and attendant factors we are of the opinion that none of the grounds on which the high court has cleared the respondent has any merit stop by now it is well settled that the testimony of a victim in cases of sexual offences is vital and unless there are compelling reasons which necessitate looking for corroboration of a statement the courts should find no difficulty to act on the testimony of the victim of a sexual assault alone to convict the accused stop no doubt her testimony has to inspire confidence stop seeking corroboration to a statement before relying upon the same as a rule in such cases would literally amount to adding insult to injury stop the deposition of the prosecutrix has thus to be taken as a whole stop needless to reiterate that the victim of rape is not an accomplice and her evidence can be acted upon without corroboration stop she stands at a higher pedestal than an injured witness does stop if the court finds it difficult to accept her version it may seek corroboration from some evidence which lends assurance to her version stop to insist on corroboration except in the rarest of rare cases is to equate one who is a victim of the lust of another with an accomplice to a crime and thereby insult womanhood stop over